Good afternoon. Thank you for tuning in to Fit.Live. My name is Linda Steele. Glad you guys could be here today on my leg day. Favorite workout day of the week? We're going to start off with some abs, but first I want to make sure that all of you have done 20 minutes of rigorous cardio. If you haven't, try to do something to get your heart rate up prior to getting this lifted. So we're going to be doing some squats today, some lunges, and I love to make sure that everything is nice and warm before you go ahead and do that. So after our abs, we'll start with some leg extensions, leg curls. And we're doing a little bit different version of it. We're going to do straight leg, leg lifts, from back. Okay, on the ground for some abs. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. So I have my knees slightly bent on this one. And I'm just picking my shoulder blades up off the ground. Eight, nine, Thirteen, fifteen. As I mentioned, now is a great time to take a water break. If you're doing some active rest, you can go right into the next set. We're going to alternate between these two exercises right now for abs, and then we're moving on to leg extensions, leg curls. But I'm going to do a straight leg version of it, and I'm only going to have one ankle tied up at a time. So if you want to get yourself ready for that. You'll need an ankle strap and you need your cable or your resistance bands if you're still working from home. If you have a cable machine or a functional trainer machine that has the cable mechanism that goes up and down, drop it all the way to the bottom. You're going to take a ankle strap and attach it to the hook. Bring these to the ceiling. Two, three, Four, six, ten, count on the way up, fifteen, take a thirty second to a minute break. You almost have to. I find it very difficult to just go right into the next exercise, especially if you're working abs. They need a little bit of time to recover. Three, four, seven, Now and again, it feels good to just bring your knees in. Let those muscles recover. Give a good stretch. I'm not sure how the rest of you feel from my shoulder back workout yesterday. I'm a little tender, actually. And I was also a little sore from biceps and triceps. This was a good week. If you followed along, I'm sure you're feeling the same thing I'm feeling. If you are following along but you don't have apparatus to work with, I still want to encourage you to try to go through the motions. Because no matter what you're doing, whether you're bearing weight or not, you're actually doing your muscles some good. You're definitely doing your joints good. So keep that in mind. Last set, we're moving on to legs. Again, get ready. We're going to warm up our quads and our hamstrings before we do any kind of squatting. Fifteen. 
Get our last set. Three, four, eight, twelve. I'm going to move this forward to make this a little bit more challenging for me. And the reason for that is this mat is going to make my the ground a little less stable. You do not have to do this, but it's something that I choose to do. So we're going to go ahead and wrap the ankle strap around your ankle. Make sure that it is secure and make sure that all of the Velcro is attached. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to stand straight up. Look straight ahead. Pick a spot on the wall to hold your balance like dancers do. And with straight leg, I want you to just bring your leg forward. You're gonna feel a lot of it in your hip flexor, but some in your quad too. But this other leg that's just standing here doing nothing, you're actually getting a lot of stabilizer work from it. Eight. If this is too difficult for you without holding on to something, feel free to hold on to something. 12, 13, 14, 15. Just let cable spin on your ankle. Two, three, four, seven. Notice I'm stopping my leg just about even with my leg on the ground. So it's going to feel like a short movement, but it's pretty effective. 13, 14, 15. We're going to do three sets on one leg and then switch to the other leg. That's a lot easier than switching your ankle strap around back and forth. So we're just going to be efficient here. Get our second set and I always like to do three sets, super setting between two different muscle groups. That was three sets, we're going to move on to our next leg now. Keep in mind, this leg has actually been working even though it appears as though it's been resting. Because it had to hold your body in a nice balance while you move some resistance around, it actually was doing a lot of work. When we work legs, we're working over 50% of the muscles in your body. So that, that 30 second to a minute break if you need a little bit more break, feel free to take a minute to two minutes. Some people don't need a break. If that's the case, then move right along. Always sets of 15. I pick 15 because studies have shown that if you do 15 reps of what you're working on, you're not only going to work the strength part of the muscle fibers, but also the endurance part. All right, that was three sets of warming up our hamstrings and quads. I'm pretty happy with that. But first, I want you to cool down and prepare you for what we're doing next. Along with these lunges, on that same cable machine that you are using if you're at the gym, or on the resistance band that you're using if you're working out from your garage, we're going to do some squats. Over here in the corner, I have the T-bar row set up. The way I have them set up is I have two BOSU balls on either side of the T-bar row. I'm going to use the handles, which I'm actually made a makeshift handle bar, and I have a towel that I'm going to be wrapping around my hands and gripping really tight. And with this 45 pound plate on, that would be difficult to do. So, one, it's gonna raise me off the ground about six, eight inches. Two, it's going to make it very wobbly, so I'm going to have to really work my stabilizers in order for this to go smoothly. Cross your fingers, I'm crossing mine. Here are my handlebars. If I had handlebars, I would use them. I do not. I'm going to use a towel instead, and I'm going to go ahead and wrap my hands around this long towel. Standing. Keep your head up and your chest up. Keep your knees over your ankles. Five, six, seven, 
Eight. Ten. Twelve. Fourteen. That worked out pretty well. If you have apparatus at the gym, such as a T-bar row, this again is a great exercise. Be very careful if you're trying to challenge yourself by putting the Bosu balls underneath you. You may want to start with solid ground, mats that are about two to three inches thick. You may want to start with one of those on each side before you take on the Bosu balls. The arm that you're using for your lunge, that's a leg that goes back. So if your right foot is forward, left foot is back, make sure that you're holding on to the ring with your left hand. You want to keep your feet in line with your hips and keep your shoulders over your hips. Four, five, I'm watching for a 90 degree bend in this knee and a 90 degree bend in the knee touching the ground. You're going to be pushing up evenly with both feet. That toe, this heel. Twelve. Fourteen. Fifteen. Go ahead and switch feet, switch hands. Again, I'm watching for a 90 degree bend. Three. There should be enough resistance against your straps or your cable that you have to pull just enough to keep your shoulders back. Don't let it pull you forward. Thirteen. Fifteen. Legs are not easy. I always recommend that you getting, that you taking in at least 500 calories before leg day, if not more. If your leg day is Early in the morning, 500 calories should do it. If it's later in the evening, you want to make sure you have about 1,000 calories in, minimum, before you start hitting the leg day. Sucks the blood sugar right out of you. Okay? Weight on your heels. Get position.
Bring your butt about six inches from the box. Put your heels on the corner of the box. Beginners, take a little break. Advanced crowd. Excellent. Have a great weekend. What a great week we had. Thank you for tuning in and watching me again. Thanks for being here. I'll see you on Tuesday.